Look, uh, just just first off with your slider tonight, I mean, I know that's a pitch that you go to a lot and has been really effective this season, but how would you rank its effectiveness tonight versus other starts? I mean, it just seemed like there was particularly a lot of movement on it, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, that was, um, you know, one of the things me and Pete had kind of talked about going into the game. You know, we've been throwing a lot of heaters, which is really good. You know, it gets, gets us a lot of outs, a lot of outs early, um, but kind of just wanted to come in tonight you know, kind of let that, that slider set up the heater instead of the other way around. So was able to throw it. It was effective. Um, had really good feel for it, good command of it. So keep throwing it until they can hit it. And I, I know we've talked to you before about sort of your workload in college was really high, but um, to go eight innings like this tonight at the major league level, what, how did that feel, I guess, for you? Um, it felt amazing, man. Um, just going out there competing. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's a lot easier to pitch when you got an 8-0 lead. Uh, so kudos to those guys for coming out and hitting every day. So um, just got to continue to keep going. Thanks a lot. Go ahead, Rob. Hey, Alec, uh, the competitor in you, um, how did you, how do you felt you rose to the challenge of facing such a good team, such a dominant, potentially dominating team as, as the Rays? And um, what kind of a statement do you think maybe you made tonight and your team? Yeah, I mean, they're an amazing team. Everybody knows everything they've done, you know. Uh, they're at the top of our division, kind of just wanted to come out. Um, we know what's at stake. We know what we're playing for. So just got to come out um, and, and give the boys good energy, you know, and, 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 you know, go in there to the rest of the series and try and do the same thing. Do you think it's an opportunity to make a statement? Yeah, 100%. It's a huge series right here, um, you know, so got to get as many as we can and keep it going, and then we'll see them again down in Tampa. Good. Thanks, Alec. Thank you, Rob. Go ahead, Arden. Hey, Alec. Uh, when you're getting ready to make a start in the middle of September, wild card race against a very good team, as Rob was saying, is does your preparation feel any different than, you know, a start in June or July? Is it all kind of the same for you? No, man. Every start means the world to me. Um, you know, this one, I think there was a little bit more, you know, because there's a lot of stake right now in September. Um, so just going out there and, you know, not trying to do too much, but uh, just trying to give the team a chance and, and compete as hard as I can every inning. And we see you, you know, doing self-talk on the mound a lot, talking to yourself before innings. Like, do you kind of channel your energy and, and your emotions out there when you are going into a start as, as meaningful as this one? Yeah, 100%. You know, uh, up there, everything's calm and cool. Um, and then just let the adrenaline rise and, and keep everything within itself. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Go ahead, Gregor. Hey, Alec, uh, thanks for doing this. Appreciate it. Um, I mean, you're uh, you're kind of in the final stretch of, of your first season in, in the big leagues. Uh, but obviously, uh, I mean, fatigue wasn't a factor for you out there today. What What is going eight strong innings this late in the season? What does that say about where you are physically right now? Yeah, I mean, you know, physically, that was uh, something that we wanted to come. You know, that was a, a main goal of ours coming into the season. Uh, it's go be a workhorse, go be a dog, uh, go give the team everything you got, you know. So, um you know, hopefully this is the last one. Uh, going into this season, like as, as your first MLB season, were you concerned at all about potentially having fatigue down the stretch or has that never really been too much of a concern for you? And how much do you draw back onto that um, kind of extended season you had at, at West Virginia where you got your innings quite up, up quite high? Yeah, I mean, it goes into the preparation before the season. You know, everything in, that we do in the off season, uh leading up, spring training. Um, you know, th th this is what it's all about right here is, is – the whole year is even preparation for September and October baseball. So, um, you know, going in, we're in uncharted territory right now. Never been here before, but uh, just got to continue to trust the training, continue to trust um, everything we've done and, and continue to compete, man. Uh, how would you describe the slider that Alec Manoa was throwing tonight? Impressive because, uh, you know, that's one thing he's using now against left-handed and now keeping on about balance and using his fastball and, that slider was nasty tonight, you know, against good left-handed hitters. And uh, think of actually the fourth inning when the offense kind of started tonight. What did you think of the job that the bottom of the order did with their approach against Yarbrough, taking some pretty tough pitches and, and coming up with base hits? So all, all of a sudden it looked like one of those games where, you know, of course, Mike Hughes having a great year, you know, pitched three innings and then Yarbrough was dealing again. You know, he's done a good job against us in the past. And you said, okay, it's going to be a low-scoring game. Uh, Mano is keeping us in the game. But also in the, the bottom of the lineup, 
came through. I think we ended up, what, 15 for 21 or something like that, the, the last four guys. And that's huge. When, when you can have the bottom of the lineup do that, That's you can have a game like that, like we did today. Great. Thank you. You're welcome. Go ahead, Gregor. Hey, Charlie. Um, I was asking you before the game about where you guys were at with uh, Manoa's workload, but does, does a game like today say all you show you all you need to know about where he's at physically? And, and what does it say uh, about where he's kind of at overall with kind of the time of the season, not much time left to, to be able to have such a strong deep outing like that? Yeah. So, you know what he did? That's the first time uh, in my time seeing the race that they don't pinch it for anybody. That's how good Manoa was to go into the eighth inning when they didn't pitch it for anybody. And you never see that, you know, and even when I was there in whatever, how many years I've seen the race, you never seen that. That's how good Manoa was tonight. And, and again, that slider was nasty. He was uh, locating his fastball. He was really good. It probably doesn't surprise you because of the personality he is, but does, what does it say to you that like when he comes in for such a big start against, uh, I mean, obviously one of your top rivals. I mean, this is a team that is going to the playoffs and you guys are kind of in the thick of a playoff race right now. Huge, huge. I mean, for him to do that, you know, it doesn't matter who he faces, you know, he he doesn't give anybody credit and he just pitches his game. And that's that's what he did today against one of the best teams in baseball. He That was a big start uh, for us and, and, of course, for him. It's, it's been outstanding, man. Cool. Thanks, Charlie. <laughs> Go ahead, Jordan. Hey, Charlie, what was your um, impression of, of Vladdy's home run tonight? And, you know, just looking at it, the reaction of it, that sort of thing. Yeah, the, 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 I think the third baseman jumped. I think I saw that, and I think he was going to hit the wall. There's no way that ball's going out. And then when he went out, I go, oh, my God. I've never seen I – keep, I could keep using the same line. <laughs> That's really what I just saw. That thing, I don't know how hard it was, but – uh, that was that was fun to watch, and it was I believe it was ninety seven. The pitch was ninety seven, like in. So that, that that yeah, not many people can do that. Right, and then obviously a, a lot of players had great nights tonight offensively. Um, but for Lourdes Gurriel, like he's one of the guys that really has had a lot of sustained success over the past few months. Um, how much of a luxury is it to have him in the seven spot, and and how much maybe do you think it helps him to be in that spot versus maybe higher in the order? So he's been the key of, of our, our success lately, swinging the bats, because he stretches the lineup. You know, hitting the seventh spot, somebody that hot doing that, it's, it's been huge for us. You know, got them big hits. You know, the guys in the front, he's going to see people on base, and he's been, he's been key. He's, he's been a big part of this run, for sure. Thanks a lot, Charlie. You're welcome. All right, Rob. Hey, Charlie, I think you touched on this a little bit, but how significant is it for Manoa to have arguably his best effort of the season on September 13th? And what do you think that means for him going forward over the next three three or four weeks or more? I think it means a lot for him and for, for, for all of us, you know, that it still feels his first, first full year, you know, in the big leagues, and he still looks that strong. That, that's huge, you know. Of course, we, we're going to be watching, but he's he's been like – there's nothing – like you can see it, you know – he, he looks good. He looks just like he, he did at the beginning of the season. He's not losing anything. And he, he looks pretty strong to me. So, awesome. He's doing great. Good. Thanks, Charlie. You're welcome. Go ahead, Mitch. Hey, Charlie. Thanks for the time. You mentioned that Yarbrough's kind of had success against you guys in the past. What, uh, how was he able to have had that success? What was kind of different tonight? Well, he just – he knows how to keep hitters of balance. You know, he, he's done that a lot in his career, and he does a good job of that. Just our, our hitters did a good adjustment today, you know. And, of, and of course, the bottom of our lineup did a great adjustment today, and, and that was the game. Thanks, Charlie. You're welcome. Go ahead, Mike. Hey, Charlie. Just wondering, um, in that fourth inning, before everything sort of got rolling, you had Teoscar – on the move on the three, two pitch to Kirk with one out is Kirk with the, the bat to ball skills, the guy that you're most comfortable doing that sort of thing with. Yeah. And then the, you know, cause it looks like, you know, knowing Jarborough, how he always pitches good against us. I said, we, we got to 
do some kind of move here, you know, to get something going because he he's, he's always pitched great against us. And and again, having Kirk at the plate allows me to, you know, he's going to make contact. And that, that was a big play in the game. Is it strange for um, for you to have, not just you in general, but is it strange to be so confident in a 22-year-old that he's going to be able to get the bat on the ball? Credit to him. He's giving me that confidence to have that confidence in him. All right, thanks. You're welcome. All right, thank you, everyone. Have a good night. All right.